Hello to the people, Jeff here, welcome back to the channel. Um, this one will be a bit different than what I usually do. Uh, we're not carving dudes today, we're carving ladies. Um, I've been carving a lot of them recently. I was really trying hard to make sure I would nail how you make a lady, I guess, uh, because it's it's really hard. Uh, you know, I uh, that's the thing I wanted to do for a long time, but weirdly enough, nobody really carves ladies, and I was wondering why, and it's because it's hard. It's really, really hard. <laughs> um, it's, it's really hard to explain, but yeah. You miss a couple of cuts and then they just look like men. Um, and you can hide a lot of stuff behind a beard. Um, so that's why carving little viking dudes was really way easier, in fact. Uh, for me at least. But anyway, uh, I've carved, uh, like I said, I've carved a couple of those. Uh, I have four right now um, that I've done recently. Little viking ladies. Uh, they are all... Oh, trying to put them in front of you. A uh, little different, uh, looking on the side, uh, having her hand up, having her hand in the back. That's the one we'll do today, uh, you know, like, the, like these, and you know, little freckles, and yeah, you know, little, little cute, cute, happy little Viking ladies. As you might have seen, because I posted a picture of a couple of them, and I was like, all right, that's it, I figured things out, so that will be the next video. Um, and that's what we'll what we will do today. Um, we're not we'll not carve from the corners like I always do. We'll carve from the, the face like every other carving do carvers do. Really, uh, Doug, Gene, all of them, they all carve like you know from the the face of block instead of from the corner. But from the swords and what I was doing, which is was you know highly influenced by uh, Frantishak, uh, the Russian carver. Um, he goes from the corner, and it's it's way easier for the the arms and the swords and everything. But anyway, I will stop rambling and then we can just get cracking straight away. Okay, so as usual, we start with uh, some line. I will start with the middle line on all the sides. Right here, right here, right here, and right this time compared to all the others that I, the other carving that I usually do we will not carve from the corners uh, we'll carve from the well the side so this is my ugly texture over side so that will be the back um, we'll make a little line for the feet at around maybe one centimeter I would say yeah that'll be good enough there we go and then at maybe three centimeter, three point five, three centimeter, put a line for the head. So this includes the whole head and the hair in the back. So we'll just go straight like this. Okay. And then for uh, the arm, that will be basically going in the back I think if you take this one for example lines almost here that's around 1.5 I guess almost exactly 1.5 centimeter and then from the top it's around 4 centimeter like so so I'll do the same thing on the other side, here, and this one, oops, here, obviously, and this one, okay. And then, uh, should probably, line probably goes in the front right here, something like that. Just for one arm in the back, and then the other one here. Just uh, just one line to make a cut, and then the one at the top would be a bit higher. But we can do that later. So we can start cutting straight away. Okay. So <coughs> take your favorite knife and. Uh, with the head 
Just removing a couple of corners, doing some V-cuts. Okay. Take that back. You don't have to be absolutely accurate on the line because anyway we will round the whole thing in the egg shape after. So we have that. We can make a stop cut here for the feet. Okay, something on the other side. Like so. Very simple. And we'll just go all around the head. Moving wood. That side. Doesn't need to be looking great or anything. Just a rough out. Like so. So we have this big uh, square shape at the top. We can remove all the corners for now. Just be easier to hold. All right, that's good. Um, we can do the same thing for the feet now, just flattening that. Pause that. Put back your pencil now that I think about it. And <clears throat> we will just do a line here at the bottom to not lose the center line for the feet. And we can do the same thing at the top. Something like this. Because the head will be a some sort of circle here. Right. <coughs> okay. Let's pop the corners on the front. And then now, for the arm, we could also just remove all the corner, basically. Just remove all the corners. And... Um, if you look at the arms in the back of this one, we'll just link these two together. And then at round like one centimeter, basically above, we'll make another line. And then in the middle, we'll draw an oval. It's basically the hand coming together in the back. So then we can keep the same motion here. Same distance, it's around a centimeter. All the way to this side. Alright, so we have basically have the arm. First thing first, go and remove a lot of wood in an angle in the back. Like so. Give shape on the for the back. And we'll be able to cut the wood for the arm after. have a better angle in the arm. Okay, then from here we can do a stop cut on both sides. Alright, then remove wood from below. So the arm will pop out.
like so. And then we can remove the metal. Like this. And from here, I usually just do a V cut going in like so. And then I remove the wood from that side. And if it doesn't pop out, I can remove that. So you see now, the same thing on this side. Going in an angle. Another angle. Just to make the line for now, so now we have the arms. In the back. Good. All right. Just put more angles here and there. Okay, so that's where we're at now. Arms are starting to take shape. Now we could uh, really create the arm, make them pop out of the back. We have these two lines that we will remove here with a stop cut all the way to there. And then we go along there and then along that line too. Okay. And from there we will remove the wood from the inside. You can do that even probably if you want. There you go. And another one. Okay. It's not deep enough for now, but that's a good start. Next, that will readjust the thing. Right now it's a bit too square anyway, but that's a start, as you can see with this one. Should probably go even deeper, but I'll be okay for now. All right. A bit more wood. We'll finish by with the head, as usual with all my carvings. So let's uh, fix the front a bit. Big angle on this side too, on this side too. Good. So all that wood should be probably removed under the arm, so you can give it a, a good cut. Alright. Something on this side to push the push the body in, which means that we will push the arm out by doing so. Alright, we can even uh, now probably go all the way in here. Okay, now we have the arm that are pretty defined on both sides. Now I can check, this one is lower, so I think I'll give it a little, uh, little boost right here. Alright, they're same height now. Good, okay. wood from below. I want to make sure we see the arm pretty well. Deeper cuts, that's what it is, it's always deeper cuts. Okay. Looks fine for now. Yeah. Should probably go deeper in here. Let's fix that. Uh, 
Okay. Now, create more angles. Like so. Kind of want the arm to get out and in, right? So don't hesitate to create more angles in the arms themselves. This, like this. Okay, let's attack the ends now. It's a bit of a, the annoying part, but we can do that. So we have the circle here. We'll just do two little stop cuts in the middle, right there, like so. Basically, the sleeve and just cut from the inside here. Okay, so there's one end that is basically holding the other, and we kind of want to have a circular oval, like I said. So, I'll just put all the corners. Here and there. Okay. And same thing at the top. There we go. Like so. No, I would just, just flatten these arms. They really look fairly bad. <laughs> the angle okay that's better same thing on this side <coughs> that's good oh, the back is a bit too thick okay then we can remove a lot of wood here, finally. Okay. Go back at it again. Okay. There we go. A little bit too square for my taste, but that will work for now. And then, let's remove that ugly wood. Okay, so we have the two hands. So basically, there is there is one hand that is just below, and then we'll have the fingers like here, like you see with this one. It's not the best hand that you will have ever carved, but it does the trick. So I'll we'll just do a little. I'll cut here, and I come from the other side, remove the wood. Then you can push all of that side down a bit, because this hand is below the other one. Okay. And then from there you will just do a really, really tiny V-cuts to create the fingers. There you go. Then I will just move all the sharpness. Okay, that's it. I got the hand. And if you can, if your back looks like mine right now, which looks pretty bad, you can readjust it. All right. Good. I'll do the trick for now. Okay, the front, which is the easy part, um, we'll just basically align these two things. I'll just remove that right now. Okay. So 
So we'll just do one V cut here. It will basically create the breasts. Like so. And push everything back in with an angle here. Pointy. Okay. And then push everything back down with the front. Okay, so it should look like this now. The arm in the back, and then we have the front. Just remove a bit more wood from below here. All right. Good. Fix that. Uh, Okay, so it's a bit too square on the side, so uh, I will bring everything back in an angle to the arm, like so, so, so it's better, we have a cool angle. <coughs> Alright, let's go with the feet a little bit, so we still have the center line somehow here. Alright, so first foremost, just pop the corners. Alright, stop cut in the middle. Then we'll bring the wood here and we got. The foots are fairly big, the feet are fairly big, but we will carve them down a bit. Okay. So then angle at the top, both side. All right, and then we'll do an angle here, also, and angle on the side. Okay, then just two little lines. Kind of fake that the, the dress is going on the shoes. Then a V cut along that line on both sides. Alright. <coughs> now we can remove even more of the shoes on the corners. Like so. Can even flatten even more if you feel that the shoes are too big. It's really up to you. Okay, then I will just remove that ugly benzo slice of wood in the front. Then I can even remove a little corner here and a little corner there. Okay, so we got the little feet right there. Side of the dress is fine. Can remove a bit more here. There we go. There's more angle on that side. All good. Okay, so we're almost there for the body, and then after that it would be the head. Uh, as you can see with this one, basically the dress, there's two uh, 
things for the shoulder on the side and then there's the undergarment then there's the little um, what's the name of this <laughs> these metal thing that holds the dress basically uh, the brooch exactly and then in the back it's the same thing we'll just make that thing pop out so let's start with the back because it's uh, really simple to it's a square basically so from the shoulder I make one cut in an angle here and make another one there and then I join that together and then from here I'll just remove a little bit of wood those are small cuts so uh, don't go too hard on them take your time because if you push too hard you will probably break the wood all right as simple as that okay and then from the front so we basically need one cut this side and one cut on this side and then the thing in the middle okay and then we'll have the brooch right here and another one right there like so so I start on the side like this and then I will remove the wood from the arm So, all right, the same thing on this side. All right, that's good enough. It's a sharp corner, but we'll fix that after. That's we'll come back anyway after we've uh, put the head down. And then the stop cut on these sides, and then we put them back together like here remove the wood same thing on that side and then this one all right so it should look like this. We'll do the brooch after. Uh, I want to make the face first. So for the face, uh, we have the circle at the top. We can draw a bigger one. So we kind of want to create a cylinder for now. Okay. So you will just basically cut all of these in the cylinder way. We we'll always keep that thing here because that's where the head is. Uh, facing that's where the nose will be so the center line is important I um, compared it's up to you I've done you can see this one is looking on the side right uh, that's not what we're doing right now it's more like this one it, it's looking straight it's a bit easier that's why um, I'll probably make another video about just giving a little more life on your characters and having them look in different ways and different facial expression okay so in the back if you go in that direction that will create these little puff here I keep them because I kind of like them for the back of the head for the hair uh, in the front though we kind of want to create this, uh, not a V, but pointing forward, probably more. Okay. I want to carve all the way to the line and create some sort of a triangle. And then I will remove that. Okay. So now it's a really, uh, really, really big 
forehead. So what I will do now is remove a lot of wood in an angle on both sides. You will see what I mean. Like this. All right. Remove a lot of wood. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Creates, basically creates the jawline. All right. And that will also sort of uh, have the shoulder going out. Okay. And the hair in the back, that's fine. I think I'll go even more. Okay. All right. So now uh, let's uh, put an angle at the top and round everything for the head, the top of the head. against the green. Like so. Alright, and then just remove the top bits. There we go. Okay. So now in the middle, will be the bottom of the nose. Make a stop cut. Okay. That will carve from below. All right. And then a little bit at the top. Make another little stop cut like this. But we're not going to back go back in. Uh, in an angle like here and like there, I'll make two stop cuts like this, okay? And then from the top, you come in, that will create the shelves for the eyes. I'll do that a couple of times. Okay, and then you will have a shape like this. Then on the side, depending if you want a fat nose or a small nose, I'll make two step cut like that. And then I pop the corners. Like so. Okay. So now we have some little cheeks and the nose popping out. Then you can adjust the nose. I don't want it to, pop, to point upwards. So I'll remove the top. Just remove the layer of wood as thin as possible. Okay. I think that's okay for now. Is it enough for me? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. So that's the face. Um, now I want it to look a bit more symmetrical, so we'll remove a bit more wood on this side. I think that's okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Just flatten the forehead. Okay. So for the mouth, like my dudes, uh, I always do, I'll make a V cut on the corner of the nose on both sides. Okay. And then this one. All right, like so. And then from there you can uh, basically make a smiley face, a sad face or whatever. I'll just make a smiley face again. So 
want to make it I go along with the tip of my knife in an angle following that so you, uh, you see now it's clear as I'm one that is happy right and then I'll just remove a little bit of wood all around the stop cut to create the lips That'll do. A little smile like this. Alright. Good. I don't like this little cut, so I'll remove that. Okay. So now, um, for the head, at the top, you can draw a little line like this, and another one on the other side. So that's basically the the hairline and then from there you take the tip of your knife and you go along that line all the way around like so and then from the face part you remove wood following that line be careful especially at the top So you don't break the wood. If you do, it's easily fixable. But uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. The face is a bit too, uh, I mean, you can leave it like this if you feel like it, but it's a bit too thick for me. So in the corners here, I will remove quite a lot of wood. Let's see. Same thing on the other side. The face is a bit thinner like that, right? Okay. And the hair is a bit too uh, puffy and thick here. So one thing I do is I do a, a swipe while turning here in the back. You have to be mindful of your grain sometimes it will work sometimes it will not but you see here it's splitting but i can readjust so you see now the hair is uh, going down like this and then i just remove a little bit more at the top because it's a bit, uh, a bit too flat for my taste okay let's put the corner here great so um from there I could just do a little V cut here, maybe create some sort of chin. Okay, because why not? No chin. I will remove more wood. Separate the face from the body. Let's go back now. You will probably have to readjust a little bit as you can see the, the pan on the side. I need to readjust here because I removed that much wood now. Just need to cut a little bit more here. And that same thing on this side. Okay. That's fixed. You can make a little V in the front just to create this uh, this little shirt 
you know, difference with the neck. If you feel like it, it's absolutely not mandatory. It's your carving after all. If you paint the carving after, it's just that will that will put a little bit more color and more skin on your carving. Okay. There we go. We'll have to do a good brush after that. So the brooch, it's really simple. Uh, just do little stop cuts. I have one on this side. And then I'll do the same on that side. Remove the wood from the cloth and not from the brooch side, so they pop out. There you go, so we have the brooch. Okay, um, what now? The eyes, I guess, and we're pretty much done. So the eyes, uh, it's really up to you, as you can see, this one, they have, they have different size of eyes, or this one, right? Uh, it's really up to you, but I will do some sort of half oval, like so, if you see. Alright, so then you take the tip of your knife, then you follow these lines. And it's fairly important that they kind of look the same being the same size, symmetrical and whatnot. If they're not exactly the same, it's not that big of a problem. I see like this one here is a bit bigger, I think. And then from here, really gently with the tip of your knife, you will just go in. The important thing is to go deeper on the corners. That creates more depth for the eyes, especially when you paint them. All right. Uh, the same thing here. And then the same thing here. There we go. The eyes really come alive when you paint them because just this is a bit, uh, a bit freaky. But, uh, I think I will just put an angle in these cheeks. That's a big nose. Eh, that's okay. All right, I'll just do a V cut here on the hair. Get a little uh, puffiness. Same thing on the other side. I kind of like doing that. Come on. Thank you. Okay, and um, what else? Maybe deeper cut. Also, love me doing one or two V cuts in the clothing just to create some sort of. I don't know, some depth or whatever. I like how it looks. Maybe one in the back even. Why not? Back's the feet. Are we done? I think we are. It's pretty simple like this. It's pretty flat in the front if you want. You can obviously go for an angle more towards the feet. You know, it's... Uh, it's really up to you. You can also not do any anything for the feet, like I've done for uh, for this little one. No feet. They're hidden under the dress. You know, it works. 
So yeah, that's that's uh, pretty much it. We have the nose, we have the eyes, we have the hair, we have the arms in the back. It's really not looking good though, but this is fine, I will fix it. Oh yeah, that's one thing. Um, I forgot. Some V-cuts here. Uh-huh. There we go. That's a bit better. It's a bit disproportionate, but uh, hey, that works. All right. There we go. All right. So this is the one that we've done today. Look, the smiling lady with the hands in the back. All right. Little shoes. Nice hair. So yeah, it's uh, now it's the fifth that I've done. Uh, can add that to the list, to the the collection of of ladies. All right. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope it was fairly easy to do. This is pretty simple. The thing with ladies is well, you can put them a dress and you can even skip the feet if you want to. Uh, that's perfectly fine, right? Um, and there's less like clothing and stuff. I think the next step for me will probably to go back into Viking, bleh, into making the Viking warrior, but I will try to do a lady Viking warrior. Since I kind of understand how it works now, I think that that would be fairly uh, simple because that's another thing I wanted to do. I want to do shield maiden. So we'll go back to a Viking warrior, but make ladies now. So we'll have both ladies and men. And that will be great. Uh, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed, like I said. And uh, that was not too hard to carve. And we will see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.